islets of Langerhans of pancreas. Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into a super fascinating and crucial topic, the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. Whether you're a med student, a biology enthusiast, or just curious about how your body manages blood sugar, this one's for you. Let's get into it. What are islets of Langerhans? The islets of Langerhans, located within the pancreas, are clusters of endocrine cells responsible for producing and releasing hormones that regulate blood sugar levels. These hormones, primarily insulin and glucagon, help maintain a stable glucose level in the blood. Is pancreas endocrine or exocrine? The pancreas is both an endocrine and an exocrine gland. It has distinct exocrine and endocrine functions, contributing to both digestion and blood sugar regulation. Exocrine function. The exocrine pancreas consists of asana cells. These cells are responsible for producing and secreting digestive enzymes into the small intestine through a network of ducts, assisting in the breakdown of food. Endocrine function. The endocrine pancreas consists of islet cells, also known as the islets of Langerhans, which are responsible for producing and secreting hormones like insulin and glucagon that regulate blood sugar. Who discovered the islets of Langerhans? The islets of Langerhans were discovered by Paul Langerhans, a German physician, in 1869. He first described them while working in Rudolf Virchow's laboratory in Berlin. These islets, also known as pancreatic islets, are clusters of cells within the pancreas that produce hormones like insulin and glucagon. Location of islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. While they are found throughout the pancreas, their density is higher in the tail region compared to the head. So, they're most concentrated in the tail region. For main types of cells in the islets of Langerhans. The islets of Langerhans are composed of four main types of cells. Alpha cells. Beta cells. Delta cells. PP cells. We will discuss them one by one. Alpha cells. These make up about 15 to 20 percent of islet cells. They are typically larger than beta cells and are found more peripherally within the islet. They secrete glucagon, which raises blood glucose levels. Beta cells. These are the most abundant, comprising about 70% of islet cells. They are centrally located in the islet. They secrete insulin, which lowers blood glucose levels. Delta cells. Making up about 5 to 10% of the islet cells. Found throughout the islet often in the periphery. They secrete somatostatin, which inhibits the release of both glucagon and insulin. PP cells. Pancreatic polypeptid cells. These make up less than 5% of islet cells. They are primarily found in the head of the pancreas. They secrete pancreatic polypeptid, which plays a role in regulating both exocrine and endocrine pancreatic secretions. What are the disorders of the islets of Langerhans? Diabetes mellitus. Loss or dysfunction of the insulin-producing beta cells leads to dysregulation of blood glucose levels, resulting in diabetes mellitus. It can be either type 1 or type 2. Type 1 diabetes. It is characterized by autoimmune destruction of beta cells. This results in a lack of insulin and high blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes. It involves insulin resistance, where the body's cells don't respond properly to insulin, along with a progressive decline in beta cell function. And that's a wrap on the islets of Langerhans. These tiny cell clusters have a massive impact on our health, especially when it comes to blood sugar control. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment with your questions, and hit that subscribe button for more medical content coming your way. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.